Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks in tonight's video is about the impact tool that I, I'm almost 100% sure it started in Corel X8. I'm using 19 or Corel 2018, what they call it. But I was just playing around with it and came up with some pretty unique patterns and um, some things that uh, might help you if you have the newer Corel and you want to try out the impact tool. So we're just going to start right here. I'm going to zoom in on my page. And I'm going to go grab the impact tool, which is under your polygon tool. And you just draw a circle about how big you want and press P and put in the keyboard, or P put in the center of the page. And then I'm going to go get my pick tool. And then you can do a lot of things with this. Uh, you can change these settings. Um, you can change the pattern of the, the item. You know, make it round tipped, make it sharp. Uh, there's just a lot of things you can do with this. You can change this to, let's say, 5. And then I made it too black, so let's go 0. 0.5. Whoop. Well, I still got 5 here, so 0. 0.5. And there's a lot of things I haven't even played around with. You can change the distance between the lines and so on and, and uh, by different degrees so let's just go with that one right now and that's pretty cool in it's within itself but then you can take different shapes and like go to your basic shapes and get a heart and then just take your heart and just draw you a heart let's color it gray so you can better see it i think it actually works better and hit p and put it in the center of the page now there's a lot of settings right now they're gone but if you go back to your impact drawing you have an inside and an outside boundary so let's go with inside boundary it gives you a little marker and you hit it then you move your heart away and you've got that left that's pretty cool in itself it's uh, that would take hours and hours to draw that effect but let's just back up here and let's do it this time. And remember, you have to click on your impact tool. Let's, this time, we do the inside boundary. And take your little marker there and do that. I think that's what I just did. I'm a little confused. I needed to do the outside. So grab your boundary and do the outside this time. Click your marker. And then you take your heart away. And you've got a heart in that shape. Now that itself is cool enough. I'm going to try to engrave this. It's almost is too hard to look at on your eyes. But let's just back up here and, and there's another thing you could do. Instead of a heart, let's take our shape and let's make it, uh, let's see where it is. It doesn't give me the unit. Well, that doesn't really matter. We're going to hit P and make sure it's in the center of the paint. And we're going to just take an eclipse or a circle draw it out press p and put it in the center page and it's pretty close we want to make it a little bit smaller and hit p but now what you can do well we don't even want to do that we want to make it a little bit larger and hit p and then i'm going to take my smart fill tool and it's on gray right now i'm going to get in that line so what it did it filled in the opposite of what you just did with your other tool that let's make it black now that in itself is another way to use this tool. I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to actually try to engrave that tomorrow. Uh, another thing I was just thinking about when you're playing with this, you could grab your spiral tool, which is underneath your shape tool, or your twirl tool, I guess they call it. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's make it 10 inches. And put it right in the center, and then just click on it. And then just start spiraling just a little bit. I actually went too far. That would be uh, way too, way too much spiral. So let's click on it again and just hold it down for a second. I actually went too far again. And you can change the pressure on the rate by doing this. So we're going to back up here and let's do it this time. And just, it's hard just to hold it down for a second. But that's a really cool effect. Might even be better to look at it and go left click, right click, and you can actually see the hairlines. And 
I'm real curious of how detailed the laser will get this. I mean, I, I'm almost sure it'll do good and you could always fill it in with different colors in your, in your smart fill tool and have a lot of fun with that. So that's the impact tool. You could do stars. And I did the star here with a little twirl in the middle and, and just the sky's the limit. So here's, you know, here's the opposite of the two where it's filled in and not, and there's just the normal one. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and play around with that tool if you're fortunate to have X8 and above.